Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is the statute of limitations for IRS? So, you're wondering about the statute of limitations for the IRS. This is an important topic because it affects how long the IRS can take various actions related to your taxes. First, let's talk about the assessment statute of limitations. This is the time frame during which the IRS can assess taxes on your return. Generally, this period is three years from the due date of your tax return or the date you filed the return, whichever is later. However, there are exceptions. If you omitted more than 25% of your gross income from a tax return, the statute of limitations extends to six years. And if you filed a false or fraudulent return, there is no statute of limitations at all. Now let's move on to the collection statute of limitations. This is the time period the IRS has to collect taxes, penalties, and interest from you. The standard statute of limitations for tax debts is 10 years, starting from the date the tax return was filed or the tax was assessed, whichever is later. This 10-year period is known as the collection statute expiration date. Two. Here's an important point. The CSED can be extended under certain circumstances. For example, if you file an offer in compromise IC, the CSE will be extended for the duration of the OIC plus an additional 30 days. It can also be suspended during an appeal of an OIC rejection or while certain types of litigation are pending three. Another scenario where the CSED can be extended is if you file for bankruptcy. The collection period will be suspended from the date of filing for bankruptcy until the bankruptcy is either discharged or dismissed. However, this extension does not include tax debt that is discharged in the bankruptcy, too. If you are living outside the U.S. for a continuous period of at least six months, the statutory period of limitations on collecting the tax owed will be suspended until six months after you return to the country. In summary, the IRS has different time frames for assessing and collecting taxes, with the collection statute of limitations being the most relevant for understanding how long the IRS can pursue you for unpaid taxes. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.